Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Amy from Amy Ray Plans. I'm here today to film a plan with me for the week of July 8th through July 14th. I can't believe we're in the middle of July already, or like towards the end of this week, we'll be in the middle of July. Crazy how it's, the year is almost halfway over. So this week I am using this pool house kit that Scribble Prince Co. came out with last year. Um, and I use, did she come out with it last? Yeah, she came out with it last year, I believe. And I use, I picked up two kits and I used one last year and I'm using one this year. So this is the um, ultimate kit. So this, this is an older format. So this was the freebies back then, the movie marquee planned next week, the labels, the film edit upload, the work scripts, the icons, and the adorable munchkins from Marg of Once More With Love. Then you have your deco, your large circle icons, some scribblers, your flight tracker, SPC Happy Mail, and SPC New Releases, canceled, reschedule, and note labels. You have your two weekly trackers, your small circle icons, your two small to-do lists, your large heart checklist, your weekend banner, your page flags, and your large appointment labels. Your habit trackers, your small and large appointment labels, your bill dues, your quarter boxes and half boxes. Your fancy appointment labels, your solid color washi and your little things. Your, uh, sorry, I got sidetracked for a second. Actually, no, I just lost my train of thought. Um, your patterned washi, which has the pool strokes, um, and your headers. Then you have your full boxes. I think she based this off of Big Brother. Um, I don't watch that show. I know she had an extra with, um, different, um, full boxes that were more Big Brother themed, but she also wanted to include regular boxes in case you didn't watch it. Then you have your extra full box that marked that that marches that matches your bottom washi and your date covers i already went ahead and put in spc date docs and then you have your full box heart checklist and your um oh that's okay and for some reason when i bought this kit i don't know if it didn't come with glitter samplers or if i just didn't pick them up but i'm gonna be adding these foiled silver headers from Scribble Prince Co. And I'm also gonna be mixing metals. I'm gonna be using this um, bottom washi, which is like aqua with hollow bows from Scribble Prince Co. And I also have some hollow, let me show you the extra other stickers I pulled out. I am also pulled out a bunch of hollow um, icons from Scribble Prince Co. I pulled out these hollow sticker sheets from Erin Condren, because I want to incorporate some of these stickers. And then I have a couple of doctor's appointments this day, uh, this week's rather. So I pulled out this Christy Ann Designs um, Dr. Steve, um, these checklists for, um, I might incorporate some of these when um, I want to post about uploading videos. And then these, cause this sheet from Coffee Monsters Co., which is the Emoti favorite sampler. I stock up on these sheets and then her other Emoti samplers because you get a great deal. You get all of those stickers and you can just incorporate them wherever you need them. So I always have a ton of this sampler and then I think it's her two year and three year anniversary favorites. Um, and then I'm pran bleh, planning, can't speak today, English Amy. I'm planning on using this um, emoji to mark uploading a video this week. I try to upload three videos a week. This week I will be doing that as well. So let's put the extra stickers to the side. And then I'll show you the leftovers that I have from the kit, from this kit that I used last year. I wasn't using a lot of icons back then, so I have a bunch of icons, some scribblers, New releases, canceled, reschedule, nope, a couple pieces of deco, um, a label, two bill dues, um, three half boxes, some solid color washi, some whittles, weekend banner, page flags, circle icons, heart checklist, patterned washi, headers, and heart checklist. Or full box heart checklist, I meant to say. And I totally meant to cut my washi off camera 
because I'm not good with doing that and with my tripod in the way, sometimes it's hard. So what I'm gonna do, I guess I'll do it on camera because I can't stop filming now. Um, so hopefully it works out. Now I'm afraid to even attempt it. All right, but I think I'm gonna do laying it along the bottom and cutting it with the slice tool. I know Andrea and Jessica always do that. The one time I did try it, I don't know what spread it was for. Oh, I think it was this, no, it wasn't this spread. But let's see, let's flip back and see if I can show you guys where I made the mistake. Oh yeah, it was this spread right here, which was a Scribble Prince Co. spread, and I cut through the paper a little bit. Yeah, you can see on the other side right there. So hopefully this time goes better than that. I do want to apologize um, up front because when I erase, my camera tripod shakes a little bit. All right, so we will start with the bottom washi. I guess I should put the Simply Gilded down first so I know how much room I have. I am a newbie at incorporating washi that isn't from the kit into my spread. So I just wanted to tell you guys that so you bear with me. Okay. Right, hold on. First, let me get my ruler. I totally should have done the bottom washi off camera but I totally forgot. So this will probably be a long plan with me just cause this washy situation will probably take a little bit. See, I don't know how other people do that thing. My washi always lays down so crooked. I know my stickers lay down crooked, but those are easier to pull up. Alright, so this is my ruler from Erin Condren. I'll go over my tools real quick. I got these new Cricut um, tweezers. I had wanted to get the regular kind that's not like crossed like this, but when I bought the pack um, at AC Moore, um, you couldn't see this. This was covered in the packaging, so I thought I was getting the regular Cricut tweezers that Andrea and Jessica use, but I'm making do with these, like, they're not, it's just a little bit different to get through. Um, and then I have my eraser from Erin Condren. Uh, I have this knife that I, it's, it came with the, um, Cricut set, so I could always use, I wonder if this will rip washi. Let's see. I'm afraid to do this. Ooh, not bad. And then I'll just cut that little part off. Ooh, that was nice. Unexpected. When something goes your way in a plan with me when normally my plan with me is are like hot messes. Um, and then this is my slice tool that I've been using from Amazon. And I'll link all the um, tools in my description box. Uh, but I do want to mention the set the tweezers that I'm gonna link you to, I'm gonna link you to the ones on Amazon that don't have this cross. They're just the regular tweezers like this. So they're just, they're they're the Cricut tweezers, but they're not crossed right here. They're open like that, which were the ones I was intending to buy. And then I got so upset because, and the reason I ended up getting them at uh, AC Moore was because I had been wanting them, I didn't want to like wait for them to ship and stuff, but also because I tried to buy the set at Michael's with a coupon, but they wouldn't take the coupon on Cricut, um, anything Cricut, but AC Moore takes the AC Moore coupon off Cricut accessories. You can't use the coupon to buy like an actual Cricut but you can buy the accessories. So I was like really excited when I had asked the worker and found out that yes, I could buy the, I don't know if that cut, yeah, I think it did. 
Um, so I was excited to find out that I could buy them in store. But then when I brought them home and opened the package up, because with the backing of the package, you couldn't tell. I don't think this cut. It looks like it did, but it's not coming off. You couldn't tell that the tweezers were um, crossed like that. Otherwise, I wouldn't have gotten them. So, so I was so excited, and then it turned out to be the wrong thing. And then, like a week or so later, I was out with my best friend and her son, and she needed to go to Walmart. So after we went out to dinner, so you can see that page really, that's when I tried to cut the washi off. Hopefully that doesn't happen this time. So I had went to Walmart with my friend. And sorry for like stopping and starting my story again. I just get really stressed. Oh, I have to cut that excess off too. I get really stressed out when I'm doing the washi because I, like I said, I'm a newbie at it. All right, let's place this down. I'm going to cut this part off real quick. And then I'll continue with my story. That didn't cut. I actually do have a few things to talk about, but like I said, I'm afraid to talk and do the watch washy situation at the same time. I almost said the watchy, like a regular. All right, I don't know why this is not wanting to cut. I think that time it did, yeah. There we go, okay. I actually ordered this washi, washi, I can't, why I'm saying washi, um, which isn't even a word. I ordered this washi off the, I didn't order it, I um, traded for it. I had some washies that I wanted to trade um, and some that I wanted to get and I was able to pick this one up. I think I actually got two of these. I'm gonna do that little, oh, I think this, I need to move this over just a tad. Where's my ruler? It's right in front of my face and I'm not using it. I'm gonna do a little white space as Viv caught, oh. All right, get your life together. I'm talking to myself when I say that, not you guys. Why is it not like one? Oh, cause I think, I think I didn't cut the exact length off. I don't think that's lined up. Eh, a little bit off, but let's see. I didn't mean to move the filming set up. I'm really nervous about doing this. I don't think I cut any, but it is a little bit crooked. But that is my life, the crooked sticker life. But I didn't cut the paper this time. And it doesn't look too, too bad. All right. Wow, fifth, almost 15 minutes into this video and I haven't even put finished putting bottom washi down. That's why from now on I'll try to remember to do this off camera so that I don't take up um, your time trying to
again, didn't cut it straight. And I messed up a little bit on that. It's not at the line, but try my best. I think it's also hard because my tripod is like right in front of my face and like any available in college how to lay things down straight. for me to see. I should probably use Oh, totally crooked. Oh. Hopefully I can salvage this. Well, I was doing a better job until that happened. <sighs> Fudge. is what I get for trying to do something different. <sighs> now there's all like white. I guess I could. Alright. I'm going to do some sticker search for you, I guess. Or I could put deco down there. Oh, I ripped the page again. Sorry, I just get so frustrated with myself. I'm trying to pick it up. I'm actually gonna take the bottom washi up. We're going to do this white one. I know you'll probably be able to see some of the ripped paper, but it's better than that bottom washi mess situation. And we're already 20 minutes into this video. This video might be really long. But I'm not, I'm not going to be upset at myself because I don't have a lot of good... I suffer from rheumatoid arthritis, so my hands aren't the best. So I'm not going to be upset about things I can't control. And this is from SPC. And then it'll ma mix the silver and the hollow even more. So 
but I'm really bummed about that donut washi, but now I can, pr I don't think I had the donut on my, I just don't want it to be crooked. So it isn't the best, but it's better than what it would have looked like if I left that giant mess on the other side with the donut washi. And I like the mix of the bows too. All right, let's work on this side. This, you'll probably see some of the paper underneath. I mean, the like rips that I did, but at this point, I'm not really worrying about it. Gotta make it long enough first, Amy. And I need to put a reminder on like one of my notepads and write, cut washi off camera. Once this is done, we can get rolling, hopefully. All right, there we go. 20 in one minutes, but... Well, I won't include, like, the three that I went over the kit. But we have the washi situation figured out. All right, on to the... We'll do the date covers first. I was going to say on to the full boxes. All right, date covers are here. Okay, so I'll go back into that story I was saying. So when I went to Walmart with my friend, we always look in the craft aisles because we're planner girls and teachers. Although I'm not currently teaching right now. I'm looking for a new position. Um, and... What was I saying? Okay, so we're in the craft aisle. And I saw the set that of the Cricut tools that has the regular tweezers. And when you get that set, you get two different tweezers. So you get a set like this without them clasped together like that. And then like a set of smaller ones. And it was $20, which the set I bought was like $15 with the coupon. Because it was 40% so off coupon or 50% off, something like that. But I didn't even get the right tweezers with it. Not that I knew ahead of time. But then I saw the set that I needed to get in Walmart, which I didn't even think Walmart would have that set, which is why I went to AC Moore after Michael's and was like, this would be the only other place to have it. Um, but yeah, Walmart carried it for $20. And you got, I think you got this as well, and then the scissors and something else so i was so bummed about that because i because i can't afford to go and buy that set now so i'm not working right now so it was just really frustrating okay so date covers now we'll go in with the full boxes that full box trying to separate all my extras from the leftovers and the kit. Okay. So. Sorry, I'm pulling out that box. All right, here we go. Okay. The one up here is going to be the donuts. Let me move my tools to the side because I'm not sure when or if I'll need them again. Probably need my tweezers, but that's Maybe my ruler, I don't know. Um, where am I? Oh, my eraser. Duh. Okay. Donuts goes up here. So, yes, always. I should have checked and. I just didn't think Walmart would carry the cricket stuff. I mean, I know they carry like craft stuff, but I didn't think they'd have that cricket set that I was looking for the cricket and the tweezers and stuff. But now I know. 
bikini and then duck. I just finished reading, like literally just right before I finished filming this video. I had one chapter left, so I finished it. Um, the rest of the story by Sarah Dessen, which is a book. Um, I probably, I did say I was reading, so yeah, duh, it's a book. Um, and I really loved it. I love her her writing. She's been one of my favorite authors. She's a young adult or, or, ugh, author, not Arthur. Um, she's a young adult author, and I've loved her since I was a young adult, and I continue to read her new releases. And this one was so great. I really hope she comes out with a sequel to this one. I'm not going to give anything away in case you guys want to read it. I do definitely recommend it. I haven't rated it on Goodreads yet. I'm going to do that after this, but I am going to be rating it five stars. Um, and I recommend all of her books. And so it took place at a lake, and we used to go to a lake every summer. I think I mentioned this in my vid a couple of Plan With Me's before this. We used to go to the lake every summer. That was a few hours from our house. It was our summer vacation every year, and um, I'm, I was, like, obsessed with that place. And to this day, it's still my favorite place on Earth. Um, and all I could, like, when when I read books, I always, like, picture, like, the things they're describing in my mind. I bet a lot of people do that. Um, and so all I kept picturing, though, was the lake that I used to vacation at every summer. And it was funny because when I was little, not little, but, like, eight or nine, and I was swimming, there was a... Um, like a lake house across the way from the resort we stayed at. It wasn't really, it was like a, it's a lakeside resort. So it was like cabins. It wasn't like fancy or anything. Um, but it was really beautiful. I loved it and it was so much fun. I'm not like, it doesn't have to be fancy for me to love it. I love everything, especially that lake. It was, um, so beautiful. Like you literally had to drag me out of the lake every day. And I remember one time a thunderstorm started coming in and it was raining. And while it was raining, there wasn't thunder or lightning. So I was still swimming. I was the only one in the lake pouring down water, rainwater, and I was still swimming, having a good time. That's one of my nicknames as a kid was fish because I they could never get me out of the water at the lake, at the pool, at the beach, anywhere. You, you couldn't pull me out. It was like... When the kids have a meltdown because they don't want to leave a place, the beach and the lake and the pool was mine. Especially the lake because we didn't live close to it, so we only went there for a week every summer. And to this day, every summer, like, not a, not a day goes by that I don't think about that lake. And reading this book, I was, like, picturing the lake and all the things we used to do there. What am I looking for? Oh, sidebar, so... Um, so I was picturing the lake the whole time and it was just so much fun, but it also got me missing the lake cause I constantly miss it during the summer. It's not where I live. Um, I grew up in New York and I don't live there anymore, but the lake was in New York. It was just like a few hours from our house and it was the best. And what's funny is the timing of reading this book cause I had requested it from the library. The timing of reading this book. Sorry, I dropped a sticker sheet and my chair is squeaking. The timing of reading this book fell um, kind of funny because next week, the week before 4th of July, is, well, you'll be seeing this after the 4th of July, but I'm currently filming this on Sunday the 30th, June 30th, so it's a little early, and I already have next week, or this week pre-planned. I'm not using a kit this week, so I'm really excited to see how that turns out. So anyway, the week of 4th of July was the week we always used to go to the lake. So it's kind of funny how I was reading that book the week before our trip would fall every year. Okay, so this week, and then I'm gonna use, let's see, what weekly tracker do I wanna use? I'm gonna use this teal one. I love this teal color. I pulled in this. This is a little darker. Let's see. A little different color, but I didn't have anything. This was the closest match that I had. And that is totally crooked. I should title this video, Plan With Me, Epic Hot Mess for the washing, right? Okay. 
So I have this week, and that's to track my happy moments. And then we have Jekko. Okay. So we have a lot of room for Deco, which I love because these are bigger pieces. Um, we're going to do the beach ball. Love the colors of this kit. The rubber duck. I'm going to put, grab this one too because I have some pieces left over from this week. We're going to do her bikini. Sorry, the page is like sticking to me. Um, and I'll do the flamingo. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Um, okay, and we will fit in actually, we'll do the flip flops. Like that. Okay, there's the deco. We're gonna spread some across the top now. Let me get my tweezers out and see if this is easier with. Oh, I don't know if. Oh, I definitely wanna do the drink. That drink looks so yummy. Oh, but it's. Eh, that's okay. It doesn't really matter. Um, we'll do the sunglasses on the other page. We'll do that right there. I really do want to put these. Can't do that right there because it's right below it. I can probably put these on the other side though. We'll see. We'll try to save. This deco is really big. So, ooh, maybe I can put that there and do like the beach ball. Ooh, I like that. Actually, hold on, wait a minute. All right, we're gonna take this piece up, we're gonna clip, and we're gonna replace it. I'm gonna put some of the patterned washi up there, and then we'll put some deco up there, just because I really wanna use this deco, and it's really big, and I'm kinda bad at cutting the access off. All right, hold on. Let's get some patterned. Too many pages. Okay. Not too many pages in the kit. I'm just like flipping through the same ones trying to find. So I think we'll use, since this is the lighter blue, I think we'll use the darker blue. I'm not sure if one piece will cover it. Might need one piece in that little strip. But we will see. Yeah, we'll need this little strip too. I've done this sometimes in the past, covering up the month with a kit. That's totally crooked. I've been very lazy today. I got up and I uploaded my plan with me. And I was excited that it uploaded because last week, or I keep forgetting that you see this in the future because I film ahead of time. Um, so for this week that I filmed, which I love, I use silver foil. I filmed that one day this week, I think. And then, or no, I filmed it, I think, this weekend. And then when I went to upload it on... Sunday, it wouldn't upload. Sunday, the 25th. 
or Sunday the 23rd, sorry. And then I tried like 10 times Sunday, 10 times Monday, 10 times Tuesday. And then finally, I even marked it in my planner. Finally, it uploaded to YouTube on Wednesday, which for a while, by Wednesday, I was thinking you were never going to see the plan with me. You know, I totally forgot to put in my headers because normally I do that before I do the sidebar, but we'll go back and do that in a minute. Um, sorry, I'm like scatterbrained. I think the washi situation like um, had me thrown for a loop there for a minute. Okay, we'll do the sunglasses. Oh, and there was another, we'll put, we'll do the pink right there. Cute, I like that. All right, so we'll try to fit the other big deco on the other side. We'll do a shoe, and then, or like a flip-flop, another flip-flop there. Uh, and then let's put the, that right there. I wish there was more smaller, like, hmm. all right, I think we're gonna take this flip-flop back up and we'll place that there. So that's our deco for that side. Now we will flip over to this side and do the deco. Yeah, I can probably fit more bigger pieces in here, yeah. So we got that piece. We'll do that piece. And I guess I can cut off the access. even though I'm not good at it, but we will try. And I didn't have any on that side. Okay. So, done it with the deco. These scissors, actually, the Cricut scissors, they came with the, um, the tweezer set. It was this, a pair of scissors, like the spatula knife, the tweezers, a weeder thing, which was made for, like, the Cricut. So, I gave that to my mom to see if she could use, like, for her knitting. And then it came with something else, too. What was the other thing? I can't remember right now. Okay. Glitter headers. This will probably take a while too since I, like I said, have trouble laying scissors down straight. Sorry, I just had pieces of sticker on my hand. And I was going to pair this kit with, um, uh, pair the, not pair, I was going to pick hollow glitter headers, but I only have one set of hollow glitter headers. So, and I'm using that for another kit this coming summer. What am I doing? Where's that sheet go? Oh, duh, it's on this side, right? You guys could, could probably have, was, pro were probably able to see that. And I'm also struggling over my words today. But, if you're watching this, I thank you for watching it. I always feel weird saying like and subscribe to my channel, or like this video and subscribe to my channel. But if you do and you aren't subscribed yet, although if this was your first video of mine you're watching, you're probably like, wow, this girl is a hot mess when it comes to planning. But I enjoy it, so even if I make mistakes and get frustrated, I do enjoy it. 
think I'm gonna pull up that glitter header. Mm, it's okay. I don't want to waste one. Just you saw that, right? I tried to place a glitter header that, or not? I keep calling them glitter headers. They're not glitter headers. They're foiled headers. Um, I tried to place one over one that was already there. So today, like I said, I was, like I said, like 20 minutes ago, I was really lazy. I finished my book. I think I read like 100, I, I had like 150 pages left. But now I'm sad that it's over because it was really good. And I actually hope she makes a sequel because the way she left it, again, I'm not going to spoil it, but the way she left it, you could definitely write a sequel about it. But I don't know if she's... I should remember since I have read all of her books. Granted, some of them were when I was teenagers. I think I have most of them. Just some of her new releases that I um had that I um bought from the library that I don't have copies of. Excuse me. But I definitely want to see if um look and see if she made sequels for any of her books. I don't think she did, and if she did, I think it was like one or two. But speaking of books and sequels, um, I read this Amish mystery, Amish mystery series. Um, it's called the Kate Burke Holder series, and then every book has a different title. And I really love it. I was never one for mysteries. And the way I got onto this series, um, it's a book series and the 11th novel in the series is coming out in July, the middle of July, and I'm so excited about it. Um, so I found it, I was watching a Lifetime movie and the Lifetime movie was called An Amish Murder. And it said based on the book, so what was the first book in the series? I wanna say, I can't remember right now. I'll, cause there's been 10 of them now, 11, um, or almost 11, but I can't remember what the, I almost forgot one over here. Um, I can't remember what the first one was called. I wanna say it was Sworn to Silence. I know Sworn to Silence was a title of one of the books. I'm just not sure if it was the first one. Um, and since I loved the movies so much, I, picked up the first book and I was hooked. Love it. So they're told from the um, viewpoint of Kate Burkholder, um, who is the chief of police, police, police in um, Amish town. And she was formerly Amish um, when she had her Ram Springer. I think, I'm not sure if that's how you say it. Um, I think it's Ramspringa, Ramspringa, something like that. Um, it's like when you're Amish and you're a certain age, I want to say 16, 17, you get like, I'm not an expert in this. I'm just going based of, off the book. Um, so there's the glitter headers. You get like a Ramspringa, which is like one or two weeks, and you get to have like, because the, the Amish have a very like strict way of, um, upbringing like they don't live with technology that most of them don't have cars they use like buggies um and then during the romp spring of a teenager can like go off and explore those things and then decide if they want to like come back into the fold and become Amish for like their life or if they don't want to become Amish they but then they're like excommunicated like your family it like in the in the movies she left the fold and so she's chief of police in this Amish town and some of the stuff she encounters is the people like during her investigations don't want to talk to her because she once was Amish and now she's not and they don't like that she turned her back on the church 
So it's a really good series. It's not like I'm explaining it. It's it's not like very religion, like it's not very focused on religion. But she does talk about how like sometimes that hinders her investigations because the Amish don't want to talk to her, and it's just a really good mystery series. And I was never into mysteries until I picked up the first book, and then I was like hooked. All right, so now we can go into play print pre planning not pre planning um okay so where's my page that has that sorry this video is like forever in a day but i'm liking how it's turned out and i don't know if i said but these foiled headers are scribble prints co okay so monday the 8th there are i want to mark that christmas in july on hallmark is still filming so i think I think we'll take this yellow full box and put that here. Oh, I don't think I got out a watching TV um, um, sticker or TV sticker, but I have my hollow stickers. Ha ha ha. There we go. All right. So I'm, oh, I don't really want to take the big one though. All right. So we're going to pull this up real quick. So we're gonna actually put it on a label. We will use this blue one that I have left over in the leftover kit. I, when I use leftovers, like if I have more than one of the same kit and I use leftovers, I try to use the leftovers first before I go into using the new ones. So that is to mark that Christmas in July is all week. And I think I can use a small foiled do I have a small foil TV sticker? No, I use them all. Oh wait, no, I think I have a TV on this one. Yes, okay. And these are from Scribble Prints Co. All the hollow um, icons that I use will be Scribble Prints Co. All right, so we're gonna put that right there. A little crooked, but that's okay. Um, like I said, I'm still trying to get used to these tweezers. Um, also, there's another TV thing I want to mark that the MLB Home Run Derby is on. And I think we'll use a blue one. Oh, my meal labels. Oh. Alright. I don't know why I'm so scatterbrained. Okay. Let's go in with the meal labels. We'll follow this pattern. So we'll do pink. And then I'll put the blue. Actually, then I could put the, the green for the home run derby. And we can put that one back on this sheet. Then we will do yellow. I have this one on my hand to remember to use when I come to the blue. Because that's my last um, meal little thing that I have from the leftover sheet. And then we're back to pink, and then yellow, and then the teal will be on Sunday, or the aqua. And this is one of my favorite colors, like turquoise, teal, aqua. Those are like my favorite colors ever. I'm gonna fix that a little bit. And while I'm here, let's just put in all the TV little things that I need to put down for this week. So, Monday is the Home Run Derby, which I want to mark. Tuesday is the MLB All-Star Game, which I also want to mark. Oh, that messed up a little bit. Sorry, didn't mean to hit you guys. And then... Wednesday are the SB Awards, the ESPN Awards. I think we'll mark that with ah, pink. Put this one back down. Um, and then 
these two movies. I think there's two movies I want to tape on these days, or two movies on this day. One of, but I have them already on a post-it note to remind me to tape, so I won't put those down. So we're done with the meal labels, and we're done with the TV labels. All right. So, and I also want to mark Erin Challenge. Erin Challenge. Erin Condren is doing another challenge. She did it last year. Um, I think it was called the Plan. Plan. Plan with me? No, not plan with me. Planner challenge. Some type of planner challenge. And you had to enter every week. And then, like, a, pro a winner won $5,000 at the end of the pri at the end of the contest. And then each week during, I think, someone won, like, an Erin Condren gift card. So, I, I uh, did enter all the challenges last year. And I want to do it again this year. It was really fun. Um, the first one starts on July 1st so July 8th will be week number two and that's also why I wanted to pull out these sheets because I either want to use the planner or the love to plan even though I know some of those colors aren't in the spread but I still want to use them I want to put a half box so I think we will go with the new half box page since I only have um the patterned ones and sometimes like I, these two patterned ones are but like the people I kind of don't like using people half boxes if that makes sense I like the people full boxes I just don't like them in the half boxes because if I'm marking something I feel weird like I don't know um I don't know if that explained anything or if that just complicated things so I think we're gonna use the pink and, ooh, maybe I can use, let me put the box down first. And I think we will use the I Love EC one. And then I could write the challenge there. So I like that. And then because there is just a little bit of space, I'm gonna go in and look for my solid color washi and I'm gonna pull in this yellow. Okay, so that's everything for Monday. Tuesday is the MLB All-Star game that I have here. And then I also wanna upload a video. This day I'll be uploading my June spreads, so flipping you guys through all my spreads that I did in June. Which I like to do, that way you guys can see how they came out completed since I pre-plan. I think we'll do a half box for, no, let's see, how do I wanna mark that? I think we will do this girl on her computer. And where was the freebie? I keep losing, I keep moving pages and then I'm like, where did I move that page to? Sorry, this plan with me is like forever. I myself like watching longer videos, but I know not everyone does. Where is that? Oh, literally it's right under there. Is that the one I was looking for? I don't even remember now. All right, hollow. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna use this label. And then I'm gonna use a hollow computer. Again, these are from SPC. Like I said, all the hollow foil labels are gonna be SPC, or icons, not labels. All right, so that is to upload June spreads. So Tuesday is done. Wednesday, is, so far, is just the SP Awards. Now we're chugging along. Um, I don't think I'm going to use a weekend banner this week, even though it is really cute. Um, Tuesday, I have two doctor appointments. I have my medical IV infusion for my rheumatoid arthritis, and then I have my follow-up appointment with my rheumatologist. So I think for the one with my rheumatologist, I'm gonna use 
the doctor one, and then the other one I'm going to use a stethoscope. There is no stethoscope on the large circle icon, is there? No, so maybe I'll just use an icon. Unless I have a foil stethoscope. Oh, I do. Do I have any smaller ones? Let's see. Stethoscope. Oh, there we go. Um, so we will put that in, put that in, I guess, a label. But, but, yeah, we'll put that in a label and we'll put the, put that in a green label and then we'll put the other doctor appointment but my doctor appointments are later in the noon afternoon, so I think we'll put my infusion appointment right there, and we will use the stethoscope icon, kiss cut icon, if I can grab it. And then we will put my doctor appointment in a quarter box. And we will put that in a pink quarter box. Yeah, I was going to do yellow, but this color is the yellow one. So, And again, this is from Chrissy Ann Designs. It, are, it, it is. It's her planet, not planet, planner Steve doctor sheet. And all of her stickers always come, or the majority of them, always come in multiple colorways. So we'll put that on that side, on the other side, since we have the icon up here. All right, that's everything for Thursday. Friday, I want to upload a video, and that'll probably be sharing my SPC mystery subscription. So I think for that, we're gonna use one of um, the one ton in a million steamy boxes and we're no because I don't think that'll fit in a quarter box will it so why don't you take the pink one let's see and yeah pretty much does okay so I'll take that quarter box one. Oh, I probably should have did a different color since I have yellow right there and there but let's done it's done so that is to mark a video going up Saturday is nothing and that or so far it's nothing and then Sunday all I have so far is that I want to upload a video so we're gonna use this munchkin from the freebie sheet and then we are going to use this blue label appointment label and then that is to mark my plan with me for the next week going up but I think I'm going to put it down here. All right, so now we will go ahead and fill everything out. This so far is going to be my longest video to date. Again, I'm sorry about the mistakes, but I am human and mistakes do happen. All right, so the label up here is to mark that Christmas in July is all week. I think it's all of the next week too. I know it's all of the week of July 4th. It started, they started airing the Christmas movies on the 28th. And then it's all this week, all this week, and I think all the next two weeks too, but I'm not sure. And I'm just gonna write Christmas in July because I'll know that it's on Hallmark. For I Love EC, I'm just gonna write EC Challenge Week two that is um a video so that is upload june spreads june spreads and then monday is mlb home run derby tuesday is the mlb all our game 
Wednesday are the ESPYs. Thursday is my infusion, and that is at 3 p.m., and then my doctor appointment is 4 p.m. Friday, upload video. I'm just going to write video because I'm not sure which one I'm going to upload yet. And then Sunday is upload plan with me. All right. There you go. That is how the full week spread turned out, or the pre-planning of it anyway. I love the foil. I love the mixing of the silver and the hollow. Um, you'll see that more pronounced when I have more stickers throughout the week. Thank you guys for watching and sorry for all the mistakes with the bottom washi. Um, I will try to remember to do that off camera so that it doesn't take up that much time. But if you watch this all, thank you so much. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Um, have a great day. Bye guys.